Google Agent Space is now available to everyone in Google Cloud. Agent Space is a central hub for AI agents in the enterprise with integrations to products like Google Drive, SharePoint, ServiceNow, Jira, and Confluence, and a bunch of others too. Of course, Agent Space has also a default entry point agent, which is a Google built search agent. I'll show you what that looks like shortly, but first, let's cut to the chase. What do you get exactly today, and how much does it cost? Agent Space has two tiers, Enterprise and Enterprise Plus. The Enterprise tier starts at $25 per user per month and then includes permission aware search and answer generation across all enterprise applications, media generation, grounding with Google Search, use your own agents and access agent marketplace, tasks and actions, and also Notebook LM Enterprise is included. Then we have the Enterprise Plus tier, which includes everything in Enterprise, plus greater rate limits, Google built agents like the deep research and idea generation agents, no code agent builder tool, advanced governance and administration features as well. Now it's worth noting that both tiers require 50 users or more. What makes Google search agent really powerful is the fact that it leverages Google's immense knowledge graph. A knowledge graph represents relationships between things. For example, a person is a member of an organization, an issue can be assigned to or reported by a person. An article can be authored by a person who might be another person's manager and so on. Having these relationships mapped out really help improve the relevance and quality of search results. And it's partly why Google search is such a great search engine. And you get to benefit from that knowledge graph when you use the agent space default search agent. All right, let's see what it looks like. So I have an agent space space set up here. I have all of these connectors set up. So Salesforce, Slack, OneDrive, Gmail, SharePoint, and a bunch of others. And let's imagine that I work in sales and I want to ask what are my highest revenue sales opportunities. So here we are fetching data from Salesforce. You can see on the right here, the sources that is sifted through and it's giving me the information that I asked for. I can also ask a follow-up. For example, if I want to reshape this table here so I can see exactly what I'm looking for. Now let's ask one more question here, this time to take an action. So we want to generate an email to a particular company here. This is a first outreach and it's going to kick off the Gmail integration here. So right from this surface, I can now complete my email draft and send it. Here's another example where we're asking about vacation policies. So agent space can work as your sort of your intranet where you can ask HR related questions. What are your benefits and internal company policies? So for example, if I ask for PTL types in a table, I can even ask for a little bit of math here. So I joined this company in January 1st, 2024. How many PTL days did I accrue? So it's really a LLM powered agent that can do a lot of different things and hopefully get the idea of the possibilities here when you connect all of this organizational data into that agent. Now there are also Google built in agents like the deep research agent or the idea generation agent. If we look at the idea generation agent, for example, here we can ask for, for example, different proposals for our sales department, which was even suggested here by the agent based on the kind of data that I have. Then there's of course the deep research agent as well, which is similar to the deep research agent in Gemini or ChatGPT that it may be used to. But here the difference is of course that we have all of this organizational data as well. So we can use that as context, for example, to ask based on our largest opportunities, research and generate a plan for improvement areas of our company's offering taking into consideration competing products. By the way, this was the output of the idea generation agent from before. And you can see here, it gave me a table of different ideas with impact and feasibility analysis and different things that I could potentially decide to do here. There's another agent that came out a little more recently, which is the data agent. This agent will connect to data in BigQuery, so the data warehousing service on Google Cloud. Here, the agent space admin can basically decide what data sets to connect and make available in this data agent, which your employees can then use to ask questions around your data 
So things like trained analysis, data aggregation and visualization, basically things that could be converted to a SQL query, maybe even generate charts and visualizations and help people talk to the data. In the Enterprise Plus tier, you also get to create agents using the no-code tool here, where you just describe a goal and instructions. And you can also connect to different data sources that you have set up in your agent space environment. For example, here I'm connecting calendar in Gmail and creating an agent that will hopefully help me attend fewer meetings. Also worth mentioning is the fact that there is an API, a REST API, and also a Python SDK. Do note that the name of the package here is Discovery Engine, which can be a little confusing, but that's what the name is for legacy reasons. And here you can query the main search agent to get your responses programmatically. And there are different examples of different ways to obtain responses here as well. And with this, you can set up custom integrations or other ways to programmatically access the agent space agents. You can also filter search results, boost search results, and do other manipulations here if you want more of a custom solution. All right, finally, agent space includes Notebook LM. So if you're not familiar with Notebook LM, it's this tool that allows you to connect sources whether they are sources coming from your integrations, your organizational data, or sources that you upload or provide as public content, for example, websites or YouTube videos, like I'm doing here. You get a summary and breakdown of the content. You can ask questions about it. You can add notes, create audio review podcasts. You can also create a mind map, which is a very neat feature for exploring the content, seeing the relationships between the different concepts in that source content. You can also explore an auto-generated FAQ with some questions and answers here as a great study tool for the material. For the architects out there, this is how it all fits together. So we have the connectors, the Google search and Google and enterprise knowledge graph as your data sources that all connects into the agent space app, which performs intent detection, identic search, query rewrites, generation, and media content generation as well. Then we plug in the agents, which can be out of the box, you Google provider agents and actions, as well as user agents that you built. Then you can query those agents and the produced artifacts are AI summaries with citations, some action in an external system, or a media artifact like an image or a video. In terms of how your data is handled, it's important to go over the data privacy commitments from Google here. So first of all, customers own their data, not Google. We guard against insider access to data, meaning Google. Google never sells customer data to third parties. Your data is not used to train Google models. Google does not use customer data for advertising and your data is not used to train models for any other customer. Now, there are a bunch of details and features that I didn't cover in this video. For example, personalization and memory, the ability to integrate with the Chrome browser so you can evoke the agents from the Chrome browser's URL tab. So there are a bunch of things here that I didn't cover. Maybe in a future video, I'll do a more technical deep dive to really go into all of these features. But hopefully I give you an overview of agent space, how it works, what you're paying for, and whether it might be right for you. Thank you for watching.